Ladies and gentlemen, Cody of Echo Break in the building! Yeah, hell yeah. Woo! As promised. Oh yeah, Cody, I gotta spin it one more time real quick. My bad, I I gotta spin it one more time. I forgot. We're going to have to choose death because our guest is here, but we'll do that later on. Don't worry. <laughs> Cody, for people that may not know you, dude, can you please properly introduce yourself? Let me know uh, whereabouts in the world you're hanging right now. Plug anything you'd like. All right. So my name's Cody. I, I like your shirt, by the way. Thank you. I got it uh, when we won a tournament. Uh, my name's Cody. I play drums in the band Echo Break. Uh, I'm currently in Tip City or Troy, Ohio. My bad. Troy, Ohio, uh, which is just outside of Dayton. And uh, the newest thing that Echo Break has out is a, a sped up version of our song FBV. Uh, I heard it's Metallic's favorite. <laughs> it is. Yeah. 100%. So that is interesting. Why do a sped up version? Is that is that popular in in certain styles of music? Because I'm not. I don't see that very often. Uh. So it is all over TikTok, but the way that this happened was Brandon got bored one day, our guitarist Brandon, and uh, he got bored one day and just sent it to the chat, and we were just like, hey, post that. And then the rest is history right there. Hell yeah. Can we nice. can we uh, officially get to the bottom of what's going on here with the band? Are they, are you, are you working on something that you're just telling it, you're not telling anybody what's going on? Are you guys... Is the hiatus over? Is there a tour coming? Is there an album coming? What What is the deal, man? We're, we're so curious. All right, so the easiest thing to say is I'll just say yes. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Um, I'll take it. We're still on hiatus right now. Um, we have been planning some things, and uh, we're constantly writing. We have multiple songs that still need to be mixed and mastered. And we probably got just as many songs that are still in the demo phase. Okay. How does how does the Echo Break start from scratch? Talk me through like going everything from your like your DAW program to who who starts it and then passes it to the next person. Like how does it start from scratch? Maybe you guys write all together in practice. I don't know. Uh, we definitely don't write all together. We have maybe one song that we've done that to. Uh, majority of it is. One of us will start an idea. We all use Reaper. All of us use Reaper as our doll. Okay, so it's easy to just transfer session files and stuff. Absolutely. Um, we usually, someone has an idea, and then they'll work on it, and they'll show it to everybody. And what happens from there is generally we either change certain things around, whether it be starting the song off with the chorus or doing something like that. Uh but then we usually start writing lyrics and nothing really gets set down until we go into the studio and figure everything out, make sure that the lyrics and the melodies are going to match everything that's on the actual music. Gotcha. I know Lizzie's itching to ask a couple of questions. So Lizzie, go ahead and uh, the floor is yours for a minute. Oh, I just have stupid questions to ask. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're in the club. You're just kind of hanging out. A song comes on. That's the song that gets you out on the floor and dancing with everybody. What song is it? Um, probably anything with a good synth beat. Um, if they play Backstreet Boys, I'm going wild. If they play In Sync, I'm probably going wild. Who's better, Backstreet Boys or In Sync? Oh God, why you gotta do this to me, BG? <laughs> uh, Backstreet Boys. NSYNC. Oh no. Uh, I think over. it's such. I, I mean, I. I think I agree. I think I agree, but it's so close. I mean, it's not ninety-eight degrees because they're. Uh, that's for sure. That's for sure. Not there's no O town. <laughs> Lizzie, what else? What else do you have for Cody? 
All right. You then we'll, have to we'll dive into up, some music after that. You have to give up watching your favorite anime for a million dollars. Do you do it? Yes. Uh, I'll give up anything for a million dollars. Okay. <laughs> you could probably write your own anime with a million dollars. Hell yeah. Good I could answer. probably have a... That's, a... that's a very good answer. Well, why don't we start off with my absolute favorite, which is the FBV. I don't recall what FBV stands for again. Uh, fuckboy vibes. All right. All righty. All righty then. Let's jam it. If you guys are enjoying the music, please go on Spotify. Slap that follow button right there. If you're on YouTube watching like I am, hit that subscribe button. Please support Echo Break. They're awesome. Good friends of ours. Yeah, it's weird. I'm I'm listening to the song without my headphones on, and it sounds different than when I do have my headphones on. Like I'm hearing different ad libs sound like the the under harmonies of the singing parts. Uh, right there on the hook sound different coming to my ears this way than like right on there like it's it's hard to explain but um like when i normally have the headphones on in the mix i hear like a certain tone as the loudest tone is what i'm trying to say mm -hmm. but right now it, i don't hear it that way it's cool it's like hearing it for the first time but um, yeah different nuances hell yeah dude uh who's who it would be like the perfect feature for echo break if I know you guys have like a remix that had a, an MC on it, but like who who ideally, Cody, would you like to have on on like a remix of one of your tracks? Um, so the I uh, already tried to do, and one of those was actually Rory Rodriguez. Oh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Rory's awesome. Support, support. Uh, I did this yesterday. Day, day seeker. Day seeker. I almost said day walker. Day sleeper. Oh, and then... So what happened though? What happened? Why did it not go through? Uh... Rory being Rory. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Rory being Rory. From Colt Aviel. The what? The break for the Colt. I'm not. I don't. I don't understand. What do you mean? Um, I think I'm having like audio issues. I don't understand your answer, Cody, and I don't hear anything. Yeah, you're breaking up. Tech. Where's my tech? Technical. Technical difficulties. Technical. All right, so <laughs> while we're figuring out the technical, it happens every now and then. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and throw another one. Let's play. Let's play uh, Black Lotus real quick. But yeah, like you were starting to explain it, and like your audio kind of went in and out, and then I couldn't hear anything. So we'll come back in like a minute, and we'll figure. It, we'll see if we got it. I can hear you. Okay, now we sound good. Now you're good. So we'll, we'll re ask it. Uh, what? So whatever happened to uh, getting Rory on the track? Uh, he just didn't respond. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, you kind of alluded like it was like set and ready to go, and then something made it fall apart. But uh. no, we wanted to have that happen. Uh, the one that I wish had happened was uh, Aviel from Colt. Oh, okay, okay. That's what you're saying because I heard Colt and then it cut out. But I got you now. Who, who makes your guys masks? Um. Cataclysmic Designs, I think it was. Brandon will be able to tell you in the chat. He should be in there. Um, oh. But it's the same guy that actually made the mask for the bunny, the bear. Oh, okay, cool. Matt's, Matt's a good buddy of ours. Hell yeah. He's a cool dude. And then it's funny, Louie Louis had Louie on the show the other day. He sometimes guest appearances on uh, some of the bunny, the bear stuff. Uh, yep. Izzy, what's another question you have for Cody, and then we'll we'll get into some trivia and see if we can stump him. Are you okay? As far as the band goes, do you have certain goals? Like, do you want to be signed? Do you want to do everything yourselves? Like, how far do you want to take this, or is it more of just? you enjoy making music and want to put it out. So 
we don't want to be signed unless we can find the right deal. Uh, we've always. Oh no. We lost you again. Uh, yeah. Nope. Uh, nah, it's going in and out again. All right, there we go. Okay. Us older guys, we come from the more punk scene, so we're very DIY. Um, and if we could just find a good team to work with, we would probably just go that way than ever have to worry about a label. What When you say, like, the, the perfect deal, like, what is something within the deal that would be, like, you, what what you are looking for? Like you, I imagine most most bands don't want to be changed and conformed into something that the label wants them to be to to push records stuff like that. But beyond that, like what is something else you're looking for that that you'd be like, okay, that sounds good. Let me go get a lawyer and double check. So the hardest thing is actually we want to own all our own masters. Ah, oh, good luck. <laughs> good luck, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> good luck. But yeah, no, I totally understand why you're asking for that. But uh, that is uh, very, very uncommon in most label deals, I would say. I, I used to run a label for a little while, and, and I hated it. I don't know why I did it. I, I formed it, hated doing it, and got out of it like two or three years later. It was a pain in the ass. But uh, I wish you nothing but luck, and I hope you get it, because then you, you get to basically take your music with you when a lot of scenarios you, you kind of don't. And that's something I don't think a lot of bands realize when they, when they sign a deal. Um, with with even sometimes smaller labels you got to check that fine print the ands and the ors matter the ands and the ors matter cody what is a movie or tv show that you've seen more than anything and you will not get stumped if i ask you trivia and also do you have any hot sauce that you could obtain just in case you've seen it before I, so first of all you're gonna hate me because it's gonna be another anime <laughs> uh, saw that coming you should have seen it coming. I did. Um, so we're going to go with... Uh, what is that movie called? I want to say it's called Your Voice or A Silent Voice. Yeah, A Silent Voice. It's an anime movie? Yep. Why that one? Because um, I've, I've cried a lot to it. So I've seen it like a hundred times. All right, I need additional bonus time to find uh, to find trivia on it. Give me it's not on the site that you normally use. Lizzie, ask another one. I need I need more time. I had a question, but I don't know if I'm allowed to ask it. Um, well, he's allowed to not answer it. <laughs> um, I know you mentioned, I think around you around the time you announced the hiatus that you had i think a management company at least interested in you guys is there any progress with that i think that's what it was i don't remember that um i know we've looked at a couple um but i don't see anything coming from it gotcha this is this is uh you might stump me not being able to find good trivia on something <laughs> which i don't even know oh, the man. prize for Gosh. that <laughs> like i found three questions but they seem like if you've seen the movie once anyone would get it so that's all i that's all i got so who is who in the spotify picture i'm guessing devin's in the middle because his mask is different uh, yeah, so Devin's in the middle. On the left is our old bass player. Uh, right there in the middle between the left and the center, that's that fat guy. That's that sexy guy, me. A sexy beast. Um, and then you got, I believe that's Justin and then Brandon, or it's Brandon and then Justin. I can't see the kanji too well. The kanji characters. Good call. Hell yeah. What is the meaning of the masks and what is the little symbol right here in the middle say? Oh, it's different for everybody. So the little symbols for everyone is a different uh, element. 
Okay. So, like, for example, mine is void. And then you got water, earth, fire, uh, wind, and it's a big thing in Japan. Yeah, no, uh, I, to I, I totally get it. I'm going to give you the spin automatically. I cannot come up with good trivia. I'm going to ask if you if you want to do it one more time, don't pick anything anime, because I just unless it's like a really broad and popular something because I can't find anything good. So I'm just going to give it to you. Well done. You stumped me. In being able to find trivia. Now, sir, did you bring, did you bring your shoey shoe? Yes, but I'm gonna have to take off my mask for this. What? What? I was wondering if you were gonna do that. He just funnels it through the eye hole. Hey, there he is. <laughs> there he is. Look at that handsome beast. There he is. <laughs> Heck yeah. It looks like your seat says Vegeta behind you, by the way. It Vegeta. doesn't matter. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it looks like it says Vegeta <laughs> behind you. It does probably it? does. I don't know. I got this. <laughs> I got this chair from the trash. Oh, well. Cool. Yeah. One man's trash, another man's treasure, you know? You never know. Here we go. I'm ready whenever you are. Just let me know. Okay, excellent. Let's do it. So, Shoei, if you're not familiar with the Shoei is, you take your shoe off, pour a bunch of beer on it, and drink it. Lizzie's just going to sip her her uh, berry lemonade. No, this is my coffee. My cup. Oh, I got it. went everywhere. My whole shirt is soaked. My whole shirt is soaked. Ah! It's cold. Cody froze mid chewy. <laughs> oh, there he goes. He's done frozen now. That's how you know it's good. Yeah, let's see. You just go. I see. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, where? I mean, aside from Japan, I'm assuming you're going to guess there. But aside from there, where where is a place that you ideally would want to play like the biggest show ever? What country? Um, Australia. Dude, me too. Australia just seems so awesome. We lost you on video. We got the most technical difficulties ever on your end, but we got no, no video now for you. I have the worst camera. Just gotta Quit flick it. Quit breaking shit. Just gotta flick it one time. What's a Cody? What's a song of of Echo Breaks that we don't play very like ever or very very rarely that uh, we need to play? Oh, that one's easy for me. Um, so as much as Montero is a really good cover, um, I'm going to go with Dreamcatcher. I think that song is so slept on, uh, but so is Clean the Slate. All right, we'll, we'll go with Dreamcatcher. Let's, let's go with the first one that came to your head. Bomb harmonies, too. Hell yeah, very, very good, for sure. Dude, who who made you want to pick up drumsticks when you were young? What artists were you were you infatuated with where you were just like, man, I want to do what that person's doing? So that's actually a story. It was nobody, anyone in here, unless you are from Greenville, Ohio, is gonna know. Okay. His name is Luke Neely, and he's who got me started in music. And when I saw him playing drums, after we were already working on me playing guitar and writing music together, I was like, I could do that. So, you, so you just saw Luke at like, at like you were maybe ten, eleven years old. Or how old were you? Like, I'm assuming you trained with Luke at one point. Um. I was probably 13 when I saw him playing drums. Uh, Luke and I used to do all kinds of music together. We got like 14 albums together. Wow. Wow, 14. That's in where, where, what would that be under if someone wanted to look that up another day? Um, CDs in my closet. That's the name of the band? <laughs> no, there's oh. just CDs in my closet. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought you, you meant, <laughs> I thought you meant that was the name of, of the band. For sure. There's Hell yeah. Ah, oh, we lost you again. <laughs> I 
I don't know why. I can't even see him in teams. I can only see him in like on the stream. Oh, that is strange. Good. <laughs> um, are you able to hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, there's our first band of video on YouTube. Uh, that that's about it. Got gotcha. you. Can we look it up real quick? It's the last thing before we do final questions. <laughs> yeah. Well, what am I? What am I searching? What am I searching? Uh, Axion, A X E O N. E O N. Oh. And the song's called "On the Radio." Oh, that's not the one. Win tickets to. Let's just pause right there for a second. <laughs> look, at that. look at that handsome beast right there. Life with the hairline. <laughs> it's awesome. I love hearing hearing people's like first first thing they put on the internet. Uh, it's always it's always fun to just check that out. Hell yeah. Well, Cody, we only have a couple more questions for you, and then hopefully we'll still see you in chat. Uh, maybe we'll do one more shoey, but Lizzie, what's what's a final final question that you'd like to ask Cody? Dang, I had one. Do you still are you still uh, keep in contact with anybody from Axion? Uh, yeah, I actually still talk to Luke. Uh, I jump in on his Twitch streams every now and then. Cool. Um, not really anybody else. Had a big fight with the drummer. Bass player disappeared. Guitarist is in and out of jail. Fair enough. Oh, all right. How's that uh, magnetic side project coming? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you talking about the one that I sent you the other night? I mean, if that's part of it. <laughs> Just the whole magnetic and metallic thing <laughs> oh okay yeah we'll uh we'll wait on that one um <laughs> it's in the it's we'll, in the it's we'll in the works it it's in the works <laughs> it's in the works cody uh is there is there you know i asked this same question to everybody is there is there something that maybe you got to do like a meet and greet and meet a uh, musician hero of yours or you've played a show where you got to hang out backstage and somebody gave you like really good advice that you, that you took to the heart or maybe pre echo break, maybe in the Axion days, you guys made a terrible mistake and you don't want uh, this starting up band to make that mistake. All right. So I'm going to give some advice that uh, most people would probably tell you to steer away from. Uh, and it's actually not from a huge band either. So, uh, we're really good friends with the band Enemy. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, and much like Enemy, most people in our local area, um, we don't sound anything like. So, something that we were told was to stop trying to compete at the local level and if we were going to get anywhere we needed to not worry about competing with other local artists we needed to compete with the people outside that were already signed mm. worry less about what's in and worry about catching out everybody else hell yeah i mean that sounds like good advice to me sometimes you you can't you can't play the same 200 shows four years in a row at in the same bars over and over again like you got to do something different break out of the of the cycle if you will and uh i think i think in the near future black lotus might might crack a millie by the way so i'm gonna be the first to say congratulations on the millie because it's, it's coming soon i see it i see it i know we were just shocked to have three songs hit a hundred thousand well, you guys earned it, man. You bust your ass, and the music's amazing. I love the videos. The mask is kind of kind of a cool niche thing, and uh, you've you've captured a market too by by twisting it with the uh, with the anime angle and the the kanji kanji characters, uh, which I think is awesome. But uh, dude, this is a lot of fun, man. I appreciate you. Let's go out on a high note. Let's bust out one more shoey. I actually thought of an additional question. Yeah, Lizzie, shoot it. 
We'll pour up while you ask. Have, have you guys made any plans to play any shows with Enemy? Because that would be amazing. Um, we actually have played with Enemy. And okay. it, was our worst show, it was our worst show ever. What happened? What went wrong? We have a story. <laughs> uh, everything went wrong. So the backing uh, tracks the dropped out, backing everything? Tracks, yeah, they paid all this money for a sound guy, and the sound guy ended up getting COVID that day, getting a positive test. And so there was just the house sound guy, and he knew nothing about working with backtracks. And so we were up. We were one of the first bands to play. It was our second show ever. And we come out the gate with a whole rack system. All our in-ear monitors in there, backtracks, everything. And he's messing with the cables, and he... Oh. So the whole crowd. We can't hear any of this. <laughs> we uh, we lost you on he unplugs, and then it was gone. Yeah, I I figured. Uh, he unplugged the backing tracks and put the click tracks there, and so all we heard were click tracks in our ears. But all the front of the house could hear was our click tracks instead of just the back tracks. Oh, weird. So they hear doop, 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 doop. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Damn it. Fire that guy. We got... We're missing all the juicy details, Cody. I don't, I don't know what the issue is on, on the microphone, but like every 15 seconds we lose you for a second. But in general, we're kind of near the end anyway. I appreciate you, man, for hanging out, partying with us. Enjoy the shoey. Ladies and gentlemen, Cody Johnson of Echo Break! Give me a hell yeah! Hell yeah.